The Biden administration is dropping the requirement for international travelers to test negative for a COVID test. The updated rules take effect on Sunday. The CDC says based on the available science, the testing requirement is no longer necessary at this time. The agency plans to reassess its decision after 90 days. Clint Henderson joins us now. He is the managing editor at The Points Guy. Clint, thanks for joining us. I guess my first question to you is, uh, this was one of the first remaining, or last, I should say, remaining COVID regulations for international travel. What, what do you think the immediate impact might be? Well, we were celebrating when we heard the news this morning <laughs> at the point side because we all love to travel and we all hate the requirement that you have to get tested to get back in the country. Uh, the travel industry today is rejoicing. Everyone is thrilled. The fact that uh, they've been pushing for this for months now, uh, the prayer is finally answered on this front. So it just is going to make it so much easier for the travel industry to fully recover. You know, domestic travel has pretty much recovered from COVID, but international travel is still down about 25%. So this is great news for travelers and for folks who've been putting off a trip to uh, any international destinations. You know, Clint, I I'm not one of those people who was putting off, and I, I, I I've already booked my travel. I did it like a week or two ago overseas. Everything's booked overseas. So I can only imagine that adding, a, or at least this, this will increase travel and folks are going to be just in a situation where I don't think they're going to find anything. Well, here's the deal. We're already calling this sold out summer. Imagine how much more demand is going to increase now. The good news for Americans is that prices still have not recovered. You can still find really good deals to places like Europe and Asia and South America. So if you have been, you know, put off by high gas prices and the crazy price of hotels and flights in the United States, now is the time to jump on these deals for international trips uh, before everyone else joins the party and prices get just as high for international. But you can find deals out there still. Yeah, well, the CDC says it's prepared to reinstate these rules of cases rise or a new variant happens to pop up. What what advice would you give to uh, travelers uh, who are looking out beyond the summer um, and may not know the lay of the land? H how should they navigate these changes? Yeah, so follow news sites like CBS or The Points Guy. We keep mm -hmm. a full country by country guide completely updated with every single country's requirements for entry. U.S. Embassy websites are also a great resource if you're planning an international trip. Uh, do keep up with the news. But we think like the mask mandate is not going to come back, we don't think the testing requirement is going to come back either. That said, I always keep a proctored test with me on my international trips just to be safe. You never know these days. Better to be safe than sorry. So, Clint, that's all good advice, but I would really like some more. So can I get you on speed dial? Because I need some help. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> We're always here for you and always happy to help. <laughs> Clint Henderson, we thank you so much. Thank you.